Welcome back everyone to this tutorial. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of XML and Python data frame conversion. Whether you're a seasoned data scientist or just getting started, this tutorial will equip you with the skills to seamlessly transform XML data into a Python data frame for all your data analysis needs. Before we embark on this XML to data frame adventure, let's quickly grasp the fundamentals. XML or extensible markup language serves as a versatile data format for storing and transmitting information over the internet. Meanwhile, Python data frame, a cornerstone of the pandas library, empowers us with the tabular data manipulation process. But why bother converting XML to Python data frame, you may ask? Well, by harnessing the data frame magic, we unlock a treasure trove of data manipulation capabilities from filtering and storing, sorting to merging and visualization. Imagine we have this XML data, a snuggly packed with juicy data about books. Our mission is just converting this XML goodness into a Python data frame. For I shall guide you through each step of this exhilarating journey. So this XML document uh, is a more complex example of XML data representing a library with books. So the library is a root element and the book is the child element for the library element. And uh, this uh, including additional information such as uh, author, author's first name, last name, uh, January price, publication year and publisher. All right, let's dive straight into the code and navigate our way through the XML to data frame conversion process. The first step is import the necessary libraries. So in this tutorial, I'm going to use the pandas library to transform uh, the extracted or converted data into tabular formats. So I should import that library, import pandas as PD, and we also import the elementary uh, that is very powerful uh, library for parsing any XML documents. All right, with our trusty libraries by our side, we are ready to embark on this XML adventure. So the second step is parse the XML file. Now let's parse the XML file using elementary's parse function. This will give us as an elementary object to traverse through the XML structure. It dot parse from element three, and we pass the name of the XML document uh, name or file name. For example, in my case, it is book dot XML. It's going to just parse this XML document, and it's. Uh, define and obtain the root element from this XML document. In this case, the root element is library. All right. And to check that, let's print this root and let, let's run our code. All right, the library element uh, is parsed and it is just returned as an object. And we're going to iterate through this object because this root element uh, library contains the child elements. We are going to iterate through uh, this and obtain all the child elements through this uh, iterative process. And uh, uh, let's uh, comment this because this is not necessary right now. With the XML parsed and the root elements captured, we are ready to delve deeper into the XML reaches. Okay, the third step is extract the data. Here comes the exciting parts of extracting the treasure from our XML chest. Let's iterate through the XML tree, plundering each book's reaches and storing them in a list of dictionaries. So we define a variable uh, book list that's going to uh, iteratively store the list of book uh, data. And we just iterate through book element in the root dot, we use find all. Find all function is very important uh, 
that's uh, used to iterate through each element, all right? So, so this is uh, the root and this is a child. So uh, there are more than one uh, book element and I just uh, refer this book element in this uh, iteration in the find function uh, by using quotation dot slash slash book because this indicates that there is a root that uh, element before the book and I am looking for the book elements and I'm going to iterate through this book element and obtain all information is under this uh, book element because in the book element there is a title uh, element outer element there is also a sub element in the outer the first name and last name a generally price and all the information can be extracted from this uh, book and this book element has an id uh, attribute so inside the element there is an attribute id so i'm going to uh, extract this id value uh, because this identifies uh, each information and i'm going to define a new dictionary element that stores all the information and book dict id the ids of the book and in this case i'm just called book element dot gets that id this is the book element and just obtain the id the values of the id for the book element and now we also iterate through the child element child element because we have a child element in the book the child element in book element and in this case there is a dictionary that child element dot tag i'm looking for the tag in the child element if there is a tag in that child element of the book so if the author has the child element first name and last name it's going to just obtain that tag uh which is the child element dot text text attribute uh, used to extract the text which is uh, contain that text for example the title just obtain the text this is the text attribute and when the tag is extracted in that child element is going to obtain the text through the text attribute and finally let's store into book list by appending the book dict so every dictionary uh, going to append into a list and each uh, stores that information. For example, let me print out the book list and let me check. Now let's print this and let's see if the book information is extracted or not as a list of dictionaries. Yeah, the IDs, uh, the title, uh, everything is extracted and each uh, list contains the dictionaries of each book. So each book contains information about the title of the book, the IDs, the generally, the price, publication year, the author's first name, last name, and so on. So the with our load in hand, a list of dictionaries containing book data, we're one a step closer to our data frame uh, design nation. All right, the next step is just convert to the data frame. So, and finally, let's convert our extracted data into a glorious data frame using the pandas data frame function. Brush yourselves as the XML data transforms into a tabular format. To do this, uh, we can define the data frame and we use the pd dot data frame and we pass the list of dictionaries uh, data into this data frame function and finally let's print the df which is the data frame and let's 
see the data is transformed or converted into the tabular formats. All right. So the data is uh, just converted into the tabular format uh, according to this uh, data frame. Uh, the IDs of the book, the title, the publication year, uh, the publisher, and so on. So uh, this is uh, what you called transforming or converting any XML data into the pandas data frame because uh, pandas data uh, frame help us to uh, uh, read our data in tabular format, rows and columns. Uh, all right. So, uh, and there you have it, folks, with this code snippets, you're well equipped to conquer the XML to data frame conversion challenge. So grab your keywords and embark on your own data exploration journey. In conclusion, converting XML to Python data frame might seem like navigating uncharted waters at first, but armed with the right tools and knowledge. You will breathe through it like a seasoned captain. So first, the sense fellow data adventures and may your data frame journeys be as prosperous as the tales they tell. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video tutorial about converting any XML document into Python uh, data frame. Uh, feel free to subscribe, like, share, and uh, write comments below. Thanks for watching today.